earthly responsibilities, heavenly priorities. Luke chapter 20 verse 25 Well then, he said, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. This verse gives us important guidance on how to live our lives in balance between our earthly responsibilities and our spiritual commitments. First, let's understand the context. The religious leaders were trying to trap Jesus with a tricky question about paying taxes to the Roman government. They wanted to catch him saying something that would either anger the people or get him in trouble with the authorities. But Jesus, with his profound wisdom, gave them an answer that went beyond their expectations. Jesus' reply teaches us that we have duties in both the secular world and the spiritual world. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar means that we should fulfill our obligations as citizens. This includes obeying laws, paying taxes, and contributing positively to our community. Being a good citizen is part of our witness to the world. When we live responsibly and respectfully, we reflect the character of Christ to those around us. However, Jesus doesn't stop there. He adds, and gives to God what belongs to God. This reminds us that while we live in this world, our ultimate allegiance is to God. Everything we have, our time, talents, resources, and our very lives belongs to Him. We are called to live in a way that honors God in every aspect of our lives. So how do we apply this in our daily living? Here are three practical steps. Number one, balance your priorities. Take time to review your daily activities. Are you giving enough time to God in prayer, reading His Word, and serving others? It's easy to get caught up in work, social obligations, and other responsibilities, but we must remember to prioritize our relationship with God. Set aside dedicated time each day to connect with Him. Number two, live with integrity. In your workplace, school, or community, act with honesty and integrity. Pay your bills, meet your commitments, and be a person of your word. By doing so, you demonstrate the values of the kingdom of God. And number three, serve others. Look for opportunities to serve both in your community and within your church, whether it's volunteering, helping a neighbor, or being involved in ministry. Serving others is a way to fulfill our earthly and spiritual responsibilities. When we serve, we reflect God's love and care to the world. Jesus' words in Luke 20:25 20, guide us to live faithfully in both our secular and spiritual lives by balancing our priorities, living with integrity, and serving others. We can honor both our earthly responsibilities and our ultimate duty to God. Let's strive to render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's, living as faithful witnesses of His love and truth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to fulfill our duties in this world while always giving our hearts and lives to You. Guide us to live with integrity and devotion, reflecting Your love in all we do. In Jesus' name, Amen.